All right, hello everyone, and welcome back to Cutabo Space Program, where today we are having a look at the Decalcomania mod, which is being made by form user Astronance. And what this glorious little piece of work looks to add into the game is the ability to place new decals and flags onto your ships. And we actually have seen several other mods in the past that do this. In fact, I think we've done videos on two or three of them, but I was intrigued to see as to how this particular one went about it. So let's jump into the VAB and have a look at what this mod does add. Now I actually did create a uh, quick little decalcomania ship so that we have plenty of attachment surfaces to place these decals on, and we don't actually need to use our janitor's closet mod filter today as we just have to head to the decals tab added over here to the side. And when we click it, you can see we have quite a number of different things here but the main thing here is it's a lot of size varieties so let's start with the most simple part on here and that is the flag decals that you can put on as of course in the game we already have the ability on a lot of different parts mainly capsules to place our defaulted uh, campaign flag onto our vessel. But what if you want to put it on another part that isn't supported? Well, now you can with one of these. And we have it in different sizes, starting at 0.625 meters, the 1.25 meters, 2.5, and of course the 3.75. And again, this will just be whatever your flag is over there. And uh, we have it in either a curved version here for like fuel tanks, as well as a flat version with those same size varieties so that you can keep parity between the two. And there we go, we have all four of the flat versions of our flag. Again, quite cool. I do like having that ability now to place our flag onto just whatever part I want it to be on. And perhaps maybe even take it off of, you know, the capsule to put it on, say, the wing of a plane. That could go well. And there we go. Grab the little one. <laughs> These tiny .625 meter flags can actually be quite difficult to grab on occasion, but if you do it right, you should be able to get it. Now, besides the flags, we then have the decals, which are interesting because we actually have an element of customization here, which is pretty cool. So let's take a look at uh, the first version, as we have two, either a sort of flag-styled decal or more of a banner-style decal. Let's take a look at the flag ones first, and again, we have them in the same size variants of 0 0.625, 1 1.5, or 1.25 five rather 2.5 and then a 3.75 down here and let's just zoom into this to take a look at the different versions of decals we have by default now we have of course the defaulted version which is this black Kerbal space program logo we then have the more traditional red and blue version we then if we sort of go the other way have Ross Cosmos orbital ATK JAXA and the ESA. And uh, we don't just have these though, as the mod has the ability for us to have customizable ones. Inside the mod folder, you'll find 10 different PNG files, which you can edit to actually create your own flags. Now you have five custom ones for the flag size, as well as five custom ones for the longer sort of banner style. So all in all, you get 10. And I did go ahead and create a couple of these. So on custom four, I added my my more updated logo rather than the older logo I'm still using over there as well if I grab one of the flat ones here a, uh, the current logo for my second channel. So, you know, just throw those on there and we have uh, some lovely new decals. And of course, just like with the flags, these come in either the curved versions I put here, as well as flat versions that we can pop on to, well, of course, flat surfaces. And go ahead and change those to uh, some of these other things. Let's go over to JAXA. 
and we'll make that one ESA. There we are. So you do have the ability to either have these stand more standard decals or your custom ones. Now let's actually remove a couple of these just so that we can uh, make room for the banners because, well, they're... They're a little bit bigger. Now we have, again, a flat version and a curved version of each of these, and we have it in a long size and, well, kind of a longer size is what it comes down to, really. So let's take a look at the first one here, which is a flat one, and you'll notice it actually can be a little bit hard to place. I, I don't know why. I find these uh, longer ones to be a bit more difficult to place on certain tanks and easier on others. I'm not 100% sure why, but of course you can always place it and then manually move it around to make it fit better. Uh, we then, of course, have the curved version here, which actually does fit quite nicely onto, well, tanks especially. Not quite so well on the plain fuselage. And then we have the <laughs> larger sized version, which this one, eh, what the heck, let's pop it up here to, so you can see both of them in tandem. We have the uh, larger flat version and then the smaller flat version. And then we have the much larger curved version right here. Now again, these have some variety. We have the default, a NASA logo, SpaceX, and then we have our custom one, two, three, four, and five for you to mess around with. So overall, uh, some decent standard options, but I really do like the ability of having those 10 different options for customization. It does give you a little little bit more freedom, which I, I really do like. So overall, this Decalcomania is uh, a pretty interesting mod. I, I really do like all the different things that we have the ability to change with this, uh, and especially the custom ones, as it uh, does give you that little bit extra to make the game feel a bit more like yours. So if you'd like to take a look at this mod for yourself, which I would definitely recommend you go and do, you can have a look at the link in the description as per usual. But that is going to be it for this episode, my friends. I hope you all have enjoyed and that you do come back for the next episode when hopefully we'll be looking at yet another wonderful mod. But until that time, thank you for watching. And as always, have a good one.